Good morning, welcome to Money 2020 Europe here in Amsterdam. I'm Tracy Davies and I'm the president of Money 2020. And I'm Scarlett Saber, the Chief Strategy and Growth Officer here at Money 2020. Over the next three days, we will welcome 8,000 plus people from countries all over the world. 90 plus, Tracy. Wow. It's going to be a packed, jam-packed three days of a lot of people doing business, having fun and learning a lot. And well, Scarlett, as you know, this is the place where business gets done. Stay tuned. You'll see all the biggest investings from day one. As the European edition of Money 2020 kicked off in Amsterdam, the question of what's now and next for money was undoubtedly front of mind. And Dr. Roman Chaudhry wasted no time getting right to the heart of the year's hot button topic. What is the climate change of AI? What are these questions that are so big an individual company, an individual country can't tackle them alone? So some of them could actually be mass joblessness. I think that's you know a narrative that's going around now and we're already seeing people being laid off due to downsizing because they are being replaced technologically. Next, activist and entrepreneur Lily Cole took to the stage to explain why she believes money has the power to really transform the world. It's interesting here to be on a, in a conference about money because I look in, in my book and, and some of my work at the intersection of money with this issue. Um, to my mind, money is the most universal, powerful language we have today. It is in every single moment influencing our social fabric, our environmental reality, um, for better or for worse. Around the ride, things were also in full swing, with everything from open banking in the corporate sphere to ways you can harness exposure to grow careers under the microscope. Something that Ways founder Yuri Levine touched on when he talked about the best ways to grow a startup. Most of the value was created later, and the reason is very simple. The first decade, <clears throat> it's a journey of figuring out product market fit. And then once you do that, you go to another journey of figuring out your business model. And once you do that, you go to another journey of figuring out growth strategy or going global. And then you are 10 years old and you're ready to take off. And as the afternoon's content continued, day one's big moment came when HSBC CEO Ian Stewart lifted the lid on the remarkable move by the UK institution to rescue Silicon Valley Bank's UK operations. I can assure you, SVB is a very good bank in the UK. We did our due diligence. Um, we, we have, we, we believe we have got very talented people, good processes. So what are we going to do now is we're going to keep it standalone. And that, that is the most important thing. We want to keep the magic that's there. We want to sustain that. And then what we want to do from there is add on our product suite and our expertise onto that, which means you can really go from Series A seed funding all the way through to IPO and never have to go outside that bank. Across the day, our state-of-the-art AI-powered MoneyBot was on hand to entertain the crowds with games, pitching, and even host the evening's first networking event. Wow, well, that was an amazing day. So much content, so many amazing highlights, business happening all over the place. Stay tuned for day two, it's gonna be just as epic. See you tomorrow.